Hey, Viking fans, we got an update on Kirk Cousins. Let's talk about that next in three, two, one. <laughs> Gather around, Skull brothers and sisters. This is Skull World, brought to you by Minnesota Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dave. You can follow me on Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook at Skull World. Make sure you hit subscribe, like, leave a comment. I appreciate it. That's what keeps me going. That's what keeps more Vikings on the on the YouTubes, not less. Let's go. All right. So there's an article by Heavy. There's a couple articles. It's kind of a conglomeration of updates throughout the week you know Kirk Cousins was making some media rounds things like that this kind of compiles a lot of quotes together um heavy this this is a good article it's 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 not uh s- sensationalized or anything it's by Josh Josh Bol- Buck, uh, Buck Halter. let's uh let's bring it up and we'll talk about it let's go all right this is Kirk Cousins opens up about Vikings future name drops Tom Brady. All right. Well, he does talk about Tom Brady, but he just quotes him. All right. The Minnesota Vikings have been without quarterback Kirk Cousins since week eight. They have lost four time pro bowler for the season to a torn Achilles. Now going on eight weeks removed from surgery, Cousins spoke about his rehab future in Minnesota and much more during a conversation with ESPN NFL insider, Adam Schefter. He says, I would love to be back in Minnesota. Hopefully we can make that happen. Cousins said on the Adam Schefter podcast on December 18, tends to be more of February, March conversation. And this is more right now about just finishing the football season and trying to help us get to the playoffs and then stay in the playoffs. He's in the the quarterback room. He's at practice. You won't see it. He hasn't showed up in games. I know that's been a contentious point with some fans, uh, but you know, recently you just saw him uh, rehabbing in his house wearing Timberwolves shorts. This guy is all about Minnesota right now um, and has been. The Vikings' playoff chances took a big hit with the loss to Cincinnati Bengals on week 15. They entered the week with a 63.2 percentage chance with opportunity to jump to 78.5 chance with a win. Instead, of their odds fell to 51.2 with the loss. Cousins went on to say that his focus on supporting the team any way I can. It is a notion to fill in starting quarterback Nick Mullins has attested to. There's a video of it here they done. done. Uh, when we get to late February, the NFL Combine March kind of try to see how 2024 is going to shake out. Cousins told Schefter. I think so too. I talked about on our live shows that we'll know more um, after the Combine. We'll know who's entered the draft, all that kind of thing. So you can kind of see where the Vikings are contract-wise, whether or not they want to part ways, go to a different direction, or or make another run at it. Um, Brad Spielberger, uh, football, uh, pro football focus, projects Cousins' next contract to resemble that of Phillip Rivers in 2020, or roughly 12.6% of the salary cap which has a $198.2 million at that time per spot track. That's That was uh, Philip Rivers. For Cousins, under a salary cap expected to exceed $240 million, uh, Spielberg estimates Cousins' uh, deal could come in around $60 million over two years with $37.5 million in guaranteed money. So the cap back when Philip Rivers did was $198. It should be $240 million uh when cousins if cousins was to come back but two-year deal 60 million two years uh 37.5 million guaranteed that means what seven and a half million to be guaranteed the next year which you could get out of with just paying it off um and that would make a 10 million dollar cap hit um because that's what's currently dead money and like another 10 the next year or another eight or something like that so that's what the cap situation would be. So it would be thirty million, but you'd have a forty million dollar cap hit, which uh, again is below market value for a guy that was in the MVP race. 
that 30 million annual salary works out to 12 and a half percent of projected cap in 2024. The next question uh, is, should the Vikings be willing to invest that kind of capital into a quarterback who will be 36 years old by the start of next season and is coming off a major injury? Good question. Very good question. Only uh, time will tell and the Vikings can answer that. Cousins listed off a whole host of athletes and other public figures and friends who have overcome Achilles injuries. He notes that many, including teammates Cam Akers and Jordan Hicks, who has torn both of Achilles before, I think Cam Akers, I don't know if Jordan Hicks did, but Cam came back as good, if not better than before. Yeah, Cam Akers is playing at a high level. He tore his second Achilles uh, tendon, uh, so we'll see if he can come back from that. I do believe there's probably my best football still up ahead of me, but I got to go prove that with the way I heal up and then with the way I play up ahead. Cousin said, the game is so much mental and is so much on past experiences. I've heard Tom Brady comment, I've spent my whole life in football to get to this point where I know the defenses, I know the blitzes, I know the checks. I've seen them all and many times cousin said it's be it'd be a it'd be a shame if I'm the best version of myself but my arm can no longer do it because the mental side of it and even the emotional is the best it's ever been. So he's saying emotionally, uh, preparation-wise, he's the best he's ever been. It'd be sad if his arm gave out on him. Cousins again point out to experience factor and the reps that he has under his belt. He added that he isn't thinking too far in the future, but says it would be hard for him to walk away while he still feels like he could do it physically. Schefter then asked about why Cousin hasn't been mentioned in similar comeback conversations like Aaron Rodgers. He tore his Achilles in week one. It was just four snaps into his career with the New York Jets. Cousins noted that roughly seven-week difference in their injuries, obviously. He's got, he's got a seven-week head start on him. He said it would, it would put it, his return in line with a Viking Super Bowl run. He's also joked that he would keep him out if they made it. Uh, but he did say he has spoken to Rodgers since the injury. He and I spoke and I was just able to ask him about his rhythm, his routine. I wanted to hear his habits, Cousin said. It was just helpful. And then on our bye week, we checked in again. It's fun to have a guy who's two months ahead of me so I can have his roadmap to follow and learn from. Cousins said he was really grateful for Rodgers. He called him a great resource, saying he would be checking in with the Jets quarterbacks again. I think it's great to have that relationship with a guy um, as good as Rodgers was. I don't nearly hate Rodgers as much as he was when he was a Packer. I, it, it turns out that I just hate the Packers. <laughs> and I kind of learned that from him and Favre on the team. He admitted that after the initial diagnosis, which took the team's foot and ankle surgeon, Dr. J. Chris Coatsy, about a half second, he, in doubt, he had doubts about his future. So Kirk Cousins... He said this before that he had doubt. He was doubting once he the diagnosis, will he play again kind of thing. You wonder, Cousins said, reflecting on the looming free agent status, Cousins said that his medical team is hesitant to put a definite timeline on his recovery, but the next time he'll meet with the surgeon will be late January, early February. That is right around the time he'll start thinking about his contract. At this point, he expects to be making a transition from walking to jog jogging Cousin said he's planning on missing as few practices in the spring as possible. That article is Josh uh, Buckhalter with heavy.com. Now, yeah, I talked about those live shows. Well, they're going to probably be weighing on the cost and the length of contract. And if it's, I, I think if it's too high, too long, they would may go another direction. I think that's fair to say. I am right now, though, however, 50-50 on whether uh, Kweisi, um can bring him back or wants to bring him back. Obviously, in their interviews, right after the injury, they were talking about how he is uh, potentially coming back. So uh, right now, I think um, if it makes sense financially for him, they'll go with that because I think they think that makes it the best chance to win. However. If it's too much and you think you can, um, you might want to reset the quarterback 
situation because you do got a lot of money available in 2025. So you're just putting your putting your target one year away, you know, one more year away. But two years ago, I was saying 2024 was our target day. Like going into 2022, I was saying 2024 would be our year. We'll see if that w- puts weight into their decision that, hey, if they think they can do this now, will they bring Kirk Cousins and on at what expense? All right, that's it for today. Skull Vikings. Cue the music. <laughs>